What's going on YouTube? Tyler with Ligari Products. I got Kyle here with me. We just laid down this beautiful metallic epoxy floor, but you're gonna have to stay tuned to see what we're gonna do to this next. All right guys, we got this beautiful floor laid out. I'm gonna show you all the things that could potentially ruin your project and how to fix it with our urethane top coat. So, I got in my hand right here, we got some chunks of sheetrock, a lot of new construction, walls aren't finished, maybe you hit your roller on the wall, knock a chunk off, that gets in your roller, you start rolling out your floor, and then it jumps out of the roller, and now you got it on your epoxy floor. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna add a little chunk of sheetrock right there obviously that doesn't look good right now uh, let's maybe crinkle some up get some of that dust out there there we go now this is stuff that happens on projects when you're doing it outside of a set and then let's jump over to kyle see what he's got or let's say you guys skip a step and you forget to de-shed your roller and you get some roller hairs down in your epoxy we're going to show you how to get that out too all right, my turn. This is a big one, guys. A lot of guys are out on cleats, right? We got these cleats on. Well, when we walk in epoxy, we get epoxy on those cleats. Now that's sticky. Say you jump off your, your floor and we're gonna add a little bit of just some dust, debris, maybe some sawdust. I don't know, let's get a little bit more on there, okay? Now I step out here, right? Probably have some on my cleats. It's not rocket science. And then I'm gonna step back out on the floor and now I have chunks of that in my epoxy floor. And again, that does not look good, so we're gonna show you how to address that. Yeah, not only that, let's, let's throw a big chunk of tape out there. There it is, guys. Piece of tape fell on your floor. Now we have crap in our floor. There's just so many variables when you guys are doing these floors because it is a liquid. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna address these big chunks. We wanna pull those out. If you see them, obviously a big piece of blue tape, you're gonna be able to see that in the floor. I would highly recommend walking out, picking those out. So we're gonna pick these big chunks out and then we're gonna leave all, this, all these little spots and show you how to address that once this resin sets up. Now that me and Kyle have really jacked up this floor, we're gonna show you how to fix it. We have everything in this floor from chunks of debris that came off of our cleats from stepping off the pad to pieces of tape that came off the wall and even chunks of drywall that fell off of your wall as you were rolling those edges. Or roller hairs from not de-shedding your roller skin. And don't forget about the flies. That's yeah, sick, dude. <laughs> That's sick, dude. I should've talked about it. You guys are about to see why our urethane top coats are so vital when you guys are doing metallic epoxy floors. But before we show you that, I wanna go over all the supplies you're gonna need or tools to fix any imperfections in your decorative flooring. Number one, palm sander, 220 grit. Always use fine grit, guys. Uh, palm sander is obviously for small floors or random imperfections. Next piece of equipment is a floor sander. Now, this guy's been around for probably uh, almost 100 years, but I would put it up with the best of them, even the new machines. This thing runs like a champ. It doesn't look like it, but it does. So this is gonna do the larger floors, the bigger areas. Maybe you had a wind gust or something, blew a bunch of dust and debris on the floor that you gotta sand down before you top coat. This is the machine that you're gonna wanna do it with. You can typically rent these at most rental spots. Again, try to get the finest grit they have. If they don't have fine grit, you can always run like 120 grit sanding screens on some wood first or uh, even concrete before you put it on your epoxy floor. That'll kind of tone down that, that aggressive grit. Uh, next thing is we're gonna use our vacuum attachment. Uh, you'd probably have to get this online. I don't know if most rental places would, would supply you a vacuum attachment, um, but they are nice to keep the dust down. So we're gonna go over, sand the majority of it with the big one. We're gonna hit some of the edges and spots with the palm sander. We're gonna show you guys what that looks like next. <laughs> so I'm gonna start with this fly here. Obviously, we're just gonna sand this fly down, try to get uh, the majority of him out of there. Okay. 
Okay, we got that guy handled. We'll jump over here to, uh, looks like just some debris maybe off my cleats, some of the sheetrock maybe. We're gonna sand this down now. It's really chunky. Got a big chunk of sheetrock there. Now we are on to the piece of tape that kind of peeled off and you can see it's stuck in the epoxy here. Believe it or not, this happens more often than not. Um, but simple fix, we're gonna sand this down flush and the benefit of having black epoxy floors, we can use a Sharpie to touch a lot of this up. Like brand new. So we got a big chunk of tape that we threw in here on purpose, obviously. Uh, we're gonna start digging this out and sanding it out. little guy out here okay we got him flushed out we'll be addressing him a little bit later so got another piece of tape here All right, got that flushed out. All right, so next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna run the floor sander. That's gonna get the majority of the stuff we run around, hit all the smaller ones, just to kind of show you guys how simple it is to sand small random imperfections out. One thing I will point out is if you have maybe a big chunk of something that fell in, you have to dig it out. You would have to refill that uh, with epoxy and colors and then sand that smooth and then apply the top coat. But again, we didn't have uh, any of that really, maybe this tape here. We'll see how that looks when we're all done. Um, I add a little Sharpie to it, a little trick for you guys. Um, and Sharpies do come in multiple colors. We've also used spray paints before. Um, we're just trying to blend that into the floor. And then once our urethane top coat gets on there, locks everything in and you still get that durability from that urethane. We'll get running this guy. We're gonna just work from one way to the other side of the room, turn the vacuum on, minimize the dust. She's a hopper. So as you guys are mopping, you'll be able to see, uh, obviously the white stuff from the sheetrock debris that's still left in it. Um, and any other stuff that you might want to tint with a Sharpie, cool little tip black Sharpie, um, like I said before, you can use spray paints. And then the last thing is they're like big chunks and holes that you have to repair. You're gonna have to use epoxy. You can use like five minute epoxy from Home Depot Lowe's and pigment that with metallics. That is an option. Or you can simply mix up uh, epoxy and put it in there and wait till the next day. It does take a little bit longer, but we don't have any of those we're gonna be doing. So I'm gonna just go around and just Sharpie these in a little bit. And then I just rub that around with my finger, trying to get it black, smear it around.
So I'm gonna be applying our matte urethane to this floor. Um, it's gonna bring it back to life. It's gonna hide all the scratches. It's gonna bring that color out again, but it will be a matte finish. Super, super cool, especially on darker floors. We also have a gloss urethane option if you guys want a, a gloss floor as well. But again, we're gonna do the matte on this. So what I'm gonna do is 3 8 snap roller, de-shedded. We don't wanna get roller hairs back in our floor. And I'm gonna go around my perimeter hit the perimeter, and then I'm gonna take an 18 inch roller and roll out the floor to minimize roller lines. Now we're on to the 18 inch roller and I can just go edge to edge, start in the middle and then feather that out. All right, before I show you the big reveal of how this floor turned out, and let me tell you, it turned out absolutely phenomenal with that matte urethane top coat, I wanna talk about our floor kits and how easy they are to order. So we're gonna jump on our website, go over the process on how to order a floor kit, and we're gonna do this exact floor. Let's check it out.